Hello and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we're playing Mono Green Ramp of all things. This is the deck that made the top 8 of one of the standard challenges on Magic Online. Of course, always a resource to check out. Maybe there's something cool happening. And here we have Neverwinter Dryad, for example, happening in the standard challenges. I would never think that I would ever play this card in because eh, maybe not ever ever but it is certainly not a card I've had on my radar at all and would be thinking that I would be playing with Streets of New Capenna coming out but hey a one mana one one you played on turn one and then on turn two you can sack it ramps you into your four drops fairly efficient and a good curve out in a way um, but of course you need a lot of forest for a card like this but hey we're playing mono green ramps so we have a lot of forests so with Streets of New Capenna there are some new cards that um, make this type of archetype playable. And I already showed you them in green-white flicker, uh, or green-white ramp, you could call it. And we'll see how they perform in monogreen. Monogreen has a more stable mana base, um, so that is, a, that is an upside. And we have cards like Storm the Festival to really outrun the opponent. Also, I ca a card I've missed with green-white ramp is Turn Timber Symbiosis, which is pretty good with Titan of Industry. Um, in any case, yeah, the big new additions from the new set are Topiary Stomper. I think that card is really, really good. It's a really good uh, ramp card. Gives you a 4 4 in the late game and just uh, Vigilance as well, which is huge right now with Wandering Ramper around. Of course, you have Chariot, just an amazing card. The Workshop Warchief is a great stabilizing threat against especially the decks that don't play white. Decks that play white, okay, this card can be a little embarrassing against, you know, like Wandering Emperor, Vanishing Verse. But decks that don't play white, oh my god, this card is a nightmare to deal with. Um, Renan 7, of course, great one, but yeah, the big, 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 big inclusion from the next, uh, from the latest set is Titan of Industry. It's one of the best ramp payoffs we've seen in a while. Just an incredible card. So much value, flexibility, stabilizing power is so good. Um, yeah, the rest of the deck is filled with Emergent Sequence. Here's another ramp spell. Um, we could play things like um, Lotus Cobra or two mana mana dogs that ramp you. But the trick here, I suppose, is that with the Dryad and the Emergent Sequence, you get lands onto the battlefield, which help the Stomper become online sooner than uh, it would it would go online then with uh, something like a Tangled Florahedron, I guess, or a two mana one, two that makes a mana. We have one copy of Shigeki to uh, have some late game grind power, I suppose. Get back a Titan, get back a Stomper, get back a Warchief. Pretty good. Comps are around, as always. Um, you, you must be used to it right as of, as of now, right? You hear the, the background noise. Uh, police cars and ambulances. So Blizzard Brawl is um, one of the best removal spells in standard but of course it goes with a restriction you have to play snow covered lands this deck can play snow covered lands so we see some blizzard rods a cool inclusion i wouldn't have thought about instantly um, but it makes somewhat sense right it's just so efficient gives indestructible it's just a good card glorious sunrise is a one-off here i'm curious to see how that one plays out it's a ram spell it's trample if you want trample it's drawing cards it can do a lot of different things um it also gains life against aggressive decks i guess yeah this card is interesting and it can be found with storm the festival as well so what is the sideboard saying i mean the sideboard looks rather random i mean there are reasons for all these cards you have some removal mass vandal outland liberator to destroy opposing artifacts and enchantments frog moth to deal with graveyards invoke the ancients to have another mid-range Stabilizing card, I suppose. Snakeskin Veil, Tajur Blightblade against early game, uh, early game aggression, and Ranger class for the grind here. Yeah, let's try this out. Let's see how this is. Um, I think a deck like Monogreen Ramp could be really good in a world of in a world of, of yeah mid range, mid range decks, mid range black white decks that. Are good at dealing with like small creatures via Metook and have like all their pesky small grind stuff, but can't really deal with like the card advantage of like Storm the Festival, Titan of Industry, etc. etc. 
playing against a Streets of New Capenna account. So that is an account given to a competitor of the next Streets of New Capenna Championship. All, all players will get one account. I have one as well. And uh, so we'll see what, what this player is up to here in Mythic already with Naya runes apparently. Looks to be in that deck. We'll see how this matchup goes. Naya runes a little scary. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, that's maybe not the matchup I want to run into because they uh, amass a huge board state very quickly, especially if they go <laughs> these two into each other. I mean, that is... This card is a problem. I don't have any removal, you know? Like, I have a Blizzard Brawl, but will I be able to kill this next turn? Hopefully. Hopefully I will be. Because if not, and this grows out of proportions, I might be in trouble. Okay, it looks like I will be. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. This is, this is tough. Um, this is a, this is like the nuts, right? That my opponent has here, the 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 golden draw. <laughs> um, one drop, two drop, three drop, on the play. <laughs> um, yeah, I kill that. I think I have to. I mean, I could also kill the visitor. This gives trample anyways. They're both kind of similar in a way. And Runeforge makes everything cheaper. So am I, suppo am I supposed to take the Runeforge here? They play two runes, they gain an extra four power, attack me for like eight, put me to eight. <sighs> I mean, it's just, it's just like, all my choices are horrible. Like, horrible. <laughs> I don't know, like, ugh. They, like, next turn is gonna be not a good turn for me, no matter what I do here, I think. Like, no matter what of these creatures I kill, next turn is gonna be trouble. They're on the play, they have a fantastic draw. What can I... You, you, lose, you lose games of magic. And like then I'm sitting here in desperation trying to find a way to... Uh, what is like the best thing I can do here? Is there something like that? Oh man. I guess I should kill this Juka here. They gain an extra land. Yeah, I kind of have to, don't I? Maybe they don't maybe they only play two forests. That'd be sweet. Ah, they they have the new Naya land though, right? The Jetmir's Garden. We'll just get that tapped. Oh planes, interesting, okay. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> well we're here to try things. We're here to see how they play out. We'll lose, that's fine. We'll learn. Naya runes, powerful deck. You can't quite count it out. Put me to seven. All right, we we have a chance if they have free lands in hand. Oh no, they get a county back too. All right, we do have a chance, right? If they have if they have free lands in hand and a, and two, three more lands on top, we can win. So let's let's see. Run of run of. Haste. Mishiko. <laughs> oh man, that's a card, I guess. I don't really like it ever in Naya Runes, but I guess my opponent does. That's yeah, pretty good here. Okay, yeah, GG. 14 Trample, I have free toughness. GG.
to death touch, that seems good. Let's cut the slow cards. Uh, I could play some of these, I guess. Outland Liberator. This card is fairly hefty, like, but it doesn't get found for Storm the Festival. I guess that's the issue there. Like, but it adds a lot of power to the board. Maybe I have to play Master's Rebuke. I really, I really, <laughs> and this is not my best matchup. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Let's just move on. <laughs> like, I don't even wanna. I don't even wanna bother. <laughs> Naya runes. Against mono green without any removal for the Naya Runes creatures that turn into 10-10s. Uh, no. That's, that's not how you win against Naya Runes. You don't win against them by not killing their stuff. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, this hand is not a keep. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, Stomper is the card that gets me out of Mulligans. Okay. This deck should play Reckoner Bankbuster. Yeah, of course. Has to. At least in the sideboard. It's a great card. Opponent did not play Jetmere Garden, which is interesting, right? There's a new... They, they would have fetched that with Posejo if they had it in a deck. Restoration. Okay, they, they play a very interesting version of Naya Runes. Which... I don't know if I'm a fan of this card. It's just so slow. I don't... I don't like this card in that deck. At all. It's so slow. I don't even, like usually you see Naya enchantments, right? Then they play these sagas, but you don't see Naya enchantments and ruins. That's something I haven't seen before. You know what I mean? Like they seem to have space for both Runeforge champion and ruins. And then also these Mishiko restoration, those type of things. And showdown. Like, how do you have space for all that? I mean, right now my brain is just going through how this game is going to play out. So I can explain it to you. Uh, they're going to kill my Death Toucher here. Next turn they're going to attack me with an 8-8 lifelinking creature. And I'm going to have a War Sheaf out. The turn after that, they're going to have 25 power. And I'm going to be dead. That's how this game is going to play out. Let's see if my prediction is true. Okay, so next turn they attack me with like a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinking trampler. Um, oops, I messed up there. Shit. I gave them two life for nothing. But they didn't attack me. That's nice of them. Um, I should probably draw a card here. Yeah. Titan destroys an artifact of enchantment. That's my interaction I have, I guess. That's not bad, per se. Dead 14. The lifelink is annoying, though. They're gonna gain a huge amount of life this turn. Yeah, so... Okay.
All right, I'll I'll let it play out. But I think um, this is zero percent for me to win by now. Uh, uh, I just wanted to see my prediction come through. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, this is Naya ruins in a nutshell. If you let it, if you let them do their thing, you're gonna die. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. We can blow that thing up. If they put everything on one creature, we can blow it up next turn with Titan at least. <laughs> Seem to be going all in. All right, they changed their mind, huh? They're, they're splitting up some power here. They might be able to just kill me. Like, I just predicted they have an 8 8 lifelink trampler. That's what I said last turn. Eh, I think I underestimated my opponent a little bit, didn't I? Looks like they have a little bit more. Still not a fan of Restoration. That card seems too slow. You also have to play a bunch of planes in your deck, which sucks. So, my opponent has some interesting deck choices I definitely don't agree with. But, it doesn't matter because I'm playing Mono Green Ramp and this is my worst matchup, likely. But, I get to kill at least that thing. Boom. Guys, I'm winning. I'm winning. I feel it. They have six lands in hand, right? And I'll land on top. <laughs> they can get a rune back here. Broken. That was satisfying in a way. Killing the 9-9. Nine -nine. I got a little bit something. I felt something, let's say. I felt a little bit something there. And they put lifelink on the lifelinker. <laughs> Misplay. That was unnecessary. It already has lifelink. What are you doing? Come on, Jeff. Kill me already. Hmm, maybe they do have free lands left. Eh, that's not a land. Hmm. I mean, in all honesty, I might not be dead here. Like, I can double block the 8 8. And, yeah, I mean, it's not looking hot. Let's, you know, it's not looking good, but if I draw, like, Titan, Titan, Titan three times in a row, maybe I have a shot. Another big creature, okay. I'm at eight. Yeah, that's not good. All right, all right. <clears throat> yeah, we wasted like, I don't know, I wasted like, how long did it take? Like, I made the prediction that I'm gonna lose this game. I kind of technically wasted like five minutes of my time there. Uh, but I guess now we know. Yeah, Naya Ruins absolutely destroys Mono Green Ramp. So, if you expect Naya Ruins to be a player in your meta game or on the ladder, mm, maybe Mono Green Ramp, not the best choice. <laughs> yeah. Naya Ruins, huh? Interesting, interesting. Is, is it ripe for a comeback? Do the, all the mid range decks, are they not prepared anymore? Koshiro, that's a MPL, I think. That's Noriyuki Mori. I'm on the draw. I don't have a ramper. Are you supposed to keep these hands? I don't know. Um, like, am I supposed to mulligan until I find my Dryad, my Stomper, or my 
Um, my emergence sequence. <sighs> tough, tough, tough choice to make, you know. But that's always the struggle of ramp, I guess. That if you don't draw your if you don't draw your early acceleration, then your deck just becomes awkward in a way. <laughs> no. Javari disruption. Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean not my best matchup maybe. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> Why am I playing this deck? <laughs> I I, I want to face ores of mid range piles. Junt, please, junt. Any day, any day, I'd play junt. I don't want to face a deck with Javi disruption and 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 Goldspan dragon, please. If I could, I would not want to see that. Whoa. Nothing going on here, huh? Okay, is Kushira just mega flooding? Just sitting on counter spells? I mean, I, I do have some titans coming down. An offer you can't refuse? <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. I can't refuse that offer, can I? <laughs> Beautiful. Um, make a four-four. I mean, I don't need. I don't need to make a shield counter, right? Like this thing won't die anyway. That that was nice. Yeah, I'll take that offer. Mm, not gonna lie, I'll take that. <laughs> offer you can refuse. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting. I guess. I guess you can counter your own stuff, huh? You can like spike feed hazard, and then counter it, and you get two treasures, which ramps you in a way. But yeah, I mean, I'm at 20 life. It, this is just Jeska combo, I guess. I would assume. Well, hmm. Maybe I take it back. It being a bad matchup, maybe it's not so bad. Reach, lots of reach here. But, okay, okay. Now the party starts. Give any duration and then a big score. No. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, plummet? No. <laughs> no plummet. Okay. Um, we'll make the best out of it somehow. Um, so they had. An offer you can refuse their fading hope. Uh, Glorious Sunrise seems slow, Shigeki seems slow. This is another like racy matchup, I'd say. Mm, I guess I could just play Outland Liberator as a two drop to pressure them. Or Ranger class. Let's go a little bit under my opponent. War Chief seems a little slow. Storm seems a little slow. Blizzard Brawl. I mean, am I going to be able to kill a gold span, you know? Oh, I have this Reach thing. That's kind of cool. Maybe cut more of these storms. I don't know about these blizzard brawls. They're suspect to me. Frogmoth might also be okay. Better than the war chief. All right. Let's try this. I feel like this deck could at least play Tangled Florahedron though, right? Why are we not playing Tangled Florahedron? That would give us more two mana acceleration or lands, whatever you want. Just like super bricked, right? Super bricked. Is this a Javari disruption? I think it is. So I'm not gonna play into it. Shh. Okay, that that confirms it. He's on Jeskai combo. Fine. All right, all right, all right. You got it. Aw, only five drops. Sucks. Is 
This got an expressive iteration? Excuse me, sir? That's not what you do, usually. No gold spin either. Like, if they had a gold spin, they would have played it. Let's be real. Mm. I'm... Maybe should have played the Warchief. I feel like they have another Javari, right? No! They just played a Javari. What's going on here? What's going on here? You should do this in response, no? What are you doing? To find a Javari disruption. Koshiro's playing a little loose, no? Like, you should do this with this on the stack. It's a fading over. Makes me want to have removal. All right, fine. I concede. I don't. I'm not gonna play this out. I'll play Frogma if they bounce it and I die. Um. Okay. Like big things. Pff, does not seem like a great plan, does it? Hmm. Leer. So I want more. More. More removal. <laughs> I want to. I want to turn my ramp deck into a mono green aggro deck. <laughs> May I do so, please? <laughs> I don't have a chance otherwise. <laughs> oh God! What am I doing? What is this deck? What is this matchup? People <laughs> have adopted to mono green ramp. <laughs> oh no! They have adopted. They're playing Naya runes now. They're playing gold span dragons and counter spells. It's not it's not the friendly ladder anymore that I'm that I'm used to. I'm I'm actually have to fight for my wins now. Um Yeah, whatever. Two removals. Hoping you have a smoldering egg so I can kill it. Please. Don't kill my... No, no, no. <laughs> my entire game plan. <laughs> hmm. I have three in my deck. Come on. All three? Upon no egg? <laughs> this matchup is already bad. <laughs> you, you do this to me. Come on. <laughs> Dealer. Whoever is deciding over who gets what magic cards. What did I do wrong to you? Oh man. Magic God. Arena. Shuffler. Uh. I mean, it's funny that I won a game, to be fair. Like, this matchup is like 2080, right? It just seems so horrendous. If he has any amount of counter magic for any big thing, yeah, okay, time on, cool. Let's see what Kashira does. Let's see what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Naya Runes, Jeskai Treasures. I guess those two are decks that I'm gonna pick up on. They might be good metagame calls. It does seem like there's discarding Disdainful Stroke. Wow, that's. That's like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> this cutting this Dave stroke, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> Must have another one in hand, I guess. That's like a power move. This cut this Dave stroke. Okay, you, uh, actually, no, well, this is, this is just gonna be a 1-1, one -one, so no, not actually, I'm dead. I mean, yeah, I could have killed one dragon, but they also have a Hollow Storm Giant, so they attacked me for 11. And I'm dead, and obviously they have something in hand. Okay, Mono Green Ramp, doing um, yeah, yeah. not so good so far. At least in those matchups, huh? All right, let's see. Maybe we can get paired against a good matchup for once. 
And maybe this is another one of those videos where at the end of it, it's just like, uh, yeah, warning, disclaimer. Don't do this. Don't do this at home, kids. No, don't do this, what I'm doing here at home. I am doing this because I'm a professional. I, I, I'm able to do this, yeah. I can, I can risk playing a monogreen ramp deck. I can risk putting my wild cards into it. But maybe you should not for your own health, for your own benefit. It is a dangerous endeavor. And uh, you might, if you do so, at the end of it, you might be scarred for life. Let, let the expert, let the professional, let the true professional take it for you for he from here. Um, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, the more I think about it, this deck, mm, yeah, it seems tough. It seems tough to play mono green. Like we 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 we're getting a for, we're getting um, a format with a bunch of tri lands and free color combinations, and the solution to win in that format is going to be going to be to play one color really, just one. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sorry for all the ramp fans, but yeah, it's it doesn't it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like ramp is is still like oh that's a that's a really good one like ramp got some great tools right like the stomper the Indus, the titan the war chief is a nice one it did get some great cards but uh, it just might not be enough. <laughs> Maybe now. Now we're playing against the mid-range jump deck. Now, now I'll show you what this deck is capable of. Get some vengeance here. Oh yeah. Next turn we have Storm the Festival. This is turn three, by the way. It's my turn three board, seven permanents, five lands. No big deal. May the grind begin. Don't disappoint me. Nah, it's okay. Stomper can attack now. Does Stomper want to attack? Not so sure about that. Probably not. I don't want to trade with the kitties. And then they like... Or even trade with the chariot. I don't know. I'll just keep this back to block. And that's a little bit of an issue maybe. The kitty jiki. That could become annoying. That was a very hasty uh, crew, by the way. Oh, interesting. They want to copy some of Nixilis. Fancy yourself, huh? Fancy of Nixilis. Problem's playing fast. You're not afraid, huh? Of Nixonus. Cool. Cool story. Defy Nobody cares. I win. I have Rand 7 to load up my hand. These of Nixonus don't seem that threatening. Strangle, sure. Let's see? <laughs> uh, I think I'll just make Rhino attack here. Kill one of these of Nixonus. Um yes this one attacks this one. Damn. Double block that one. 
that one dies anyways. When you want a double block to stomp her there. Yeah, that was weird. Alright, pawn concedes. Hmm. Well, we gotta win. I'm not super satisfied. Let's play more. I mean, this is this is going pretty fast here. Um, opponent realized, yeah, that was not a good matchup, I guess. Um, sure. At the end of the video, I think I'll, I'll update the deck a little bit. I mean, again, a deck like this beats up probably on like Esper, Maru, Junt, and then some aggressive decks like maybe mono white that don't go like crazy over the top like naya runes um like like a gruel deck you would just probably beat with this or the mono green aggro deck you would beat right because you just go bigger you make bigger things you make bigger blockers you make titan and the mid-range decks that's what you prey on and i guess something like red black sacrifice anything vob nix this probably is a good matchup because you gain life, you have like Storm the Festival, boom, boom, boom. And uh, yeah, any Omnixilus deck. But it's, uh, if, the, if the meta adapts and Omnixilus becomes less, which it kind of already does, I feel like, because angels and like trampling Naya ruins players. And um, I don't know, the Jeskai combo deck maybe makes more of a comeback as we saw with Kashiro there then Obnixilus will become less popular. And all those decks are good against these, these ramp style slow decks. Like Angels is probably gonna kill this ramp deck before it's gonna get online, you know what I mean? Like if Giada into Angels, this deck won't beat that. But I mean, to be honest with you, if you're like in platinum or in gold and you just want to have fun and you like mono green ramp, and I mean, you don't have to invest much. It's the mana base is fairly wild card cheap. Um, talking about angels, I guess. So yeah, I mean, this deck could definitely be a reasonable pickup just for you on the, on the low ladders if there are not that many meta decks. If the meta is different, I think the higher the meta will be, the more you will have people playing like angels, runes, Maybe uh, just get combo to to like attack the various Obnixilus decks. Um, but the lower you are on the ladder, the more maybe there's going to be Junt and Obnixilus decks. And then something like this might be a fine choice. And it's also perhaps right up your sleeve. Maybe you like playing ramp. Maybe it's fun for you. And then why not? And then this video actually helps you in deciding over that. And you see the deck in action and you can make yourself, um, you know, uh, as you say, a picture of the deck. You can, uh, yeah, in any case. Let's attack. Sure. I think it's mono white angels here. I don't know what's, what's going on. We'll see. I know that my draw is really good. Like, really good. This was turn four. This is turn four. Turn five, we're gonna have a Titan. That's pretty nasty. Under play. I wonder what angels is this. Okay. Am I throwing in the kitties just for four damage? I'm definitely attacking with the stomper. Kitties for four damage, is that worth it? I think it might be. Because I really want to get the life total low because of this Valkyrie. So it never gets into the range of being big enough. All right, now I have a reach blocker. I'm a 20, I have a big board. I have a storm, the festival in hand. This seems doable. 
Yeah, this is this is exactly why I attacked with the keys. If they go this into like another angels, and I would have just attacked with Stomper, maybe they could have gotten out of reach. Well, if you take that, my next Titan is gonna get it back. If you have taken the Rhino, my next Titan can't get that back. Something to consider. Oh, hello. Is that a Titan? <laughs> Let's see, I guess. Ding, ding, ding. Aw, come on. <laughs> what would I have done? I guess I would have... Hmm, do I even care about this? Yeah, I guess so. I would blow this up and then maybe put a shield counter here, attack for seven. With a shield counter so they can't like triple block. Profitably. Okay, I, I think I need the rebuke here, right? For the angels, for sure. Shigeki again, slow. Glorious Sunrise seems slow. Yeah, this deck, yeah, I have some ideas for the sideboard for this deck, to make it better, at least. Or you can just play it in best of one, too. I mean, this could be a decent choice in best of one. Reach, please, more reach. And the rest, yeah, I mean, the rest doesn't really seem to be doing anything here. I guess I could play, like, enchantment removal. Uh, I could play, like, a liberator. It doesn't seem that exciting, though. Ran 7 seems exciting. Reach, in general. I'll just play... Warchief is just so medium, you know. Maybe just play Shigeki. Just, it's technically also a ramp spell, isn't it? Like you can play it on turn 2 and turn 3 you can ramp. Let's just have another draw like we just had. Neverwinter Dryad. Topiary Stomper, Chariot, Titan on turn 5. That was like the god draw. Uh, that's not the god draw. Uh, wait, did my opponent put me on the play? Really? I think I was on the play. Yeah, I'm the, f I'm the one. My opponent put me on the play. Weird. Weird. They did put me on the play. <laughs> Don't know what strategy they're pursuing, but I'm not sure I like it. That was a crucial... If I would have hit the land there, that would have been really nice. Got a cherry down, turn three. I can't believe they put me on the play. Like... <laughs> No, 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 that's not what you do in modern magic. Maybe you did that 20 years ago when magic was slow and grindy. But no, 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 that's not what you do these days. You don't put people on the play like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean... I get the cherry out before I get the Ren and Seven out because I want to make two reach creatures. That's... Yeah. That's the plan here. Wandering Emperor, maybe? I really want to hit land drops as well. But I guess I'm going to start with making <clears throat> some reach creatures. We can hit land drops next turn, hopefully. Uh, wait a minute. I don't actually want to tap that, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course not. I want to tap the stomper. It doesn't do anything anyways.
Wandering Emperor plus on the Valkyrie would result in a 4-6 flyer. Ew. Ew. That's actually pretty nasty. Oh no, they didn't see that line. Hmm, Kevin. Maybe you should have plussed on the Valkyrie there. Wedding announcement, okay. It's like an angel white mid-range deck. Valkyrie is getting, getting out of control though. Show them how we greet our enemies. They won't attack me, huh? That's good. Draw some lands, please. No? Okay. Shoot. That's bad. That is really bad. Ugh. Boah. That's game deciding bad. Four cards, no land. Not good. Um, what do I do? Nothing, I guess. Pass it down. Um. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, as as long as they don't attack my red and seven, I guess I'm fine. I uh. Yeah. I mean, I I should win the late game, right? I mean, they can make some big flyers, but I can make huge reach creatures. Okay. Okay. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't hit a land there. That was so painful. Like we basically time walked ourselves. Like nothing happened last turn. That was huge. Uh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What do you give it? Last think? First strike. You can give it first strike with that. Why not give it vigilance? Vigilance would be smart, I think. Vigilance and then give it first strike, right? And you just start attacking the friend in seven. I have to chump block with my... And my opponent is not playing this game well. Not at all. Like They should start attacking this thing over there. Could also take two lands, then these become eight eights. And then I can blow away this Valkyrie. Oh, I just make another Ren. Does seem kind of nice. I could also blow away the Elspeth. Hmm. Don't really want to attack with these because the Wandering Emperor is also going to eat one. Hmm. With the minus two. So what is my play? Just just kill the Valkyrie, do nothing. But then the Elspeth is gonna ultimate at me at some point. So maybe I, I maybe I should just kill the Elspeth. Now they have a big flyer, but I have a big reach creature. Two. And <laughs> I have a couple storms in the graveyard for later on. What a game, what a game. They certainly needed to attack my rank 7 more aggressively. Okay. 
So whenever it attacks, you can just remove a counter from these. Jesus, it's pretty good. Eight, ten, first strike. No big deal. It still doesn't attack though, which... I don't know about that opponent. I don't know about that. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I don't win. Gosh. We've got the edge in this fight. I don't know white deck has some late game guys. What the heck? I, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we milled like 11 cards and I just can't seem to find a land. What the heck? Oh man. <laughs> I have a ten twelve guys, I can't attack. I wish I could, but I can't. Just... Yeah, how do I win this game? I just gotta hope they. I mean, I can make. I, I do have a lot more energy here. I have these storms. <sighs> like, maybe I can overpower my opponent. Maybe. But. I don't even. Like, what are these storms even finding? Like, chariots, I guess? I don't even have something like Kiki, you know? And they have Planeswalker going. And. Honestly, I think I'm just. I'm gonna lose this game. Like, I don't need, I don't what are these storms finding that is going to get me out of this situation? <laughs> a forest, huh? How about a forest? Uh yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was the best storm I've ever seen in my entire life. Six mana! One forest. Oh gosh. That's why you don't gamble, kids. You might just lose it all. You might invest all precious six mana, six green ex like, mana you worked for, mana you... Six mana worth from six lands, six forests. And then in the end, you just get one forest out of it. That's why you don't gamble. Okay, I think it's time to make another 13-13. And do this again. I mean, I'm gonna deck myself, guys. But at least I'm gonna have the biggest board state the world has ever seen, I guess. I have two more random sevens in my deck. So that's... No, one more, I guess. I milled one. Hmm. Too bad. Uh, okay. Um, they don't have trample! <laughs> like, now, technically, I could start attacking, but... No. Like, they're just gonna jump with two one ones, kill one off. These 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 fifteen fifteens, they're precious.
right? They can also multiple times block with the 1010, which has double indestructible, which the shield counter is at its best against the mono green opponent. I can tell you that much. Um, I feel like I should just go to, to the next game, honestly. Like, is there anything in my deck? She, oh, I have Shigeki in my deck. Okay. That, oh, okay, that's a start. Shigeki, I have Shigeki in my deck. Let's start by doing this, I guess. There you are. Seiju. Stomper. Okay, okay, that, that is a that is a way for me to actually do some damage with Shigeki. So I could kill the 1517. Probably a good idea to do so, huh? 20 life. They don't trample. Oh my god, this game is insane. So I killed a 1517. <laughs> Uh, with a blizzard brawl, that's one hell of a fight. That's a fight of the century, huh? <laughs> the 1818 kills the 1517 angel. Um, and then I'll tag all. They block, 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 block. They have like six, eight, twelve blockers. I have four, seven, ten, thirteen attackers. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill them. That's for sure. So an all-out attack doesn't really make sense. But I think it still might make sense to kill this Valkyrie off. I might also need to kill the Righteous Valkyrie, to be fair. Because that one's going to pump the entire team by 2 plus 2. But I can do that later, I guess. They can, like, next turn with the Shigeki, I can return all my fight spells. I mean, the Shigeki is seriously going to win this game, huh? If they don't kill it here. I have a bazillion mana. It can't return legendary stuff, so it can't return the Planeswalkers. But it couldn't return a Titan, and it couldn't return all three of the fight spells. So then I can mow down the angels a little bit. I won't be able to kill the Sanctuary Garden, but... I'll be able to make some damage. Luminarch Aspirant, also silently an MVP of this game. Just eating away at my... Uh, like, giving my opponent a counter. Oh, that's nice. Every, every turn. Alright, it's time to activate Shigeki, I guess. And yeah, so I mean, I have eight cards left. Uh, I have 12, 15, 17 mana. So 17 mana means I can return seven cards with this. Six cards is probably enough. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we're starting to kill everything now, I think. I will... Can I kill them this turn, you think? So if I destroy that now, boom. And now a Shigeki for x equals 5, that would cost me 12 mana. Then I have 3 mana left over. With 3 mana left over, I can, I can x equals 4. I can x equals 4, return all 4 fight spells. Right, yeah. Uh, which cost me 10 mana. Then I have 2, 5 left. Then I can cast 2, 1. I can cast almost all of them. I think I, uh, I, think I can wait another turn, though. There's no rush. There's no rush right now. Like, they don't... I think I'm, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do it for the maximum. Oh, I lost my time back. Damn it. That's annoying. What a bot state. 
I want this happening. <laughs> They make the one ones bigger. The one ones deserve some love too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Why not? So x equals seven. Yeah. Seven. Do I have enough? Do I have enough mana for that? Ten, thirteen, fifteen. No, I don't. It cost me sixteen mana. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, x equals six. Then. This, that this and that and then I can get two more which is a titan not a titan I guess yeah sure <clears throat> not bad not bad so can kill oh we got him okay yeah I think I would have won this game wow 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 like we would have killed that off we would have needed to use three fight spells to kill the Sanctuary Warden, which I maybe would have done. And then attack everything at face. Something like that. Would be nice to go. Oh, oh there's a way to get trampled for the team. The, the enchantment, the one plus one trample enchantment. I boarded it out for this matchup though. But that would have been a way to give these boys trample, huh? Kind of smart to play it as a one-off then. In case you get to like a board store like this, <laughs> which shouldn't happen regularly, but in case it happens, you can then give one plus one to your team and trample and swing for default. But yeah, I probably kill this and then maybe kill three more blockers, attack with everything. That should maybe already do the trick. Or I could kill the Wandering Emperor, kill that, and then attack all, kill Giada, I don't know. Play Titans and then just, yeah, my opponent dies fairly quickly there if I just attack with everything. Like they have one good blocker which can eat a creature in combat, but all the other creatures have to chump block. Like they have to like chump block with four creatures on the Renin 7 token. So, okay, that was Mono Green Ramp. All right, let's make some improvements to this deck. I have some ideas. Um, I think there's definitely something, you know, there's definitely there's something in this deck. Um, Storm of the Festival, I'm just, I don't know, like, maybe you just play free. War Chief, um, is good against certain type of decks, right? But I would certainly cut some of these layers, I think. Maybe, maybe free is fine, and cut some of these forests, and another one, and play Tangled Florahedron, right? Like, having just more rampers. I think it's fine. Maybe maybe play free. That should be a decent amount. Now we have ten in total. That early ramp before turn two. Shigeki sort of as well. Um, Shigeki was kind of impressive there, by the way. I kind of like that. And then we put Bankbuster in the sideboard. Some of these Liberators just nah, I don't like that card. Snakeskin Veil doesn't make much sense to me either. Mm, Mass Vendor no. And Frogmoth is so slow and just gives us more five drops. I don't know about that. Blight Blade, Ranger class. I don't know about Ranger class either. So what I want is I want Bankbuster. Like we can crew it so easily with the Topiary Stomper. That's what I like about the card. And then I want Plummets, of course. Plummet, Plummet, Plummet. Or yeah, Plummet, right? Tangle Trap, I guess is a card you could play. But I think you should just play Plummet for the Angels deck. All right. Yeah, this is sort of what I would do, I think. Invoke the Ancients seems just like a fine card. Frogmoth, I don't know. Not that great. Uh, Outland Liberator maybe comes up against some decks. And now we have more consistency early to ramp us into our bigger things. Um, oh, I have a slot left here in the main deck, huh? I really like the round seven. That was good. Reach is premium these days. But with like Storm the Festival, we don't necessarily want to have four of a Planeswalker that's legendary, you know. But it is very good. So I think I'm going to play it. Especially with Chariot.
Let's play it. Let's play another Blizzard role, maybe in the sideboard. Over the Frogmouth. Frogmouth's just whatever. I have so many good four drop, uh, five drops already, and Frogmouth is not. It's just not a good card, sorry. Um, okay, yeah, I think this is a this is a good take, a good updated take. This is sort of what I would be doing forward, going forward. Um, okay, that's gonna be it for this video then. Mono green ramp, maybe not the best meta game choice. Maybe good down on the ladder. Maybe good in best of one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, even though we did a little bit less winning this time around. Um, yeah, I. If you want to beat up on mid range, it's it's the thing to be doing. In any case, guys, thank you for watching so much. And uh, if you haven't yet, like like the video it helps with the algorithm. Give me a sub, helps grow the channel and motivates me. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.